Uh, my name is David Ullman, and I'm a video producer at the University of Minnesota in the College of Liberal Arts. I, I literally remember starting to make movies as a seven or eight year old <laughs> when, when we got the uh, first sort of camcorder in the house. I mean, my dad brought that home, or he got it from his brother or something, and I uh, started to say, take home movies, but I quickly took it over to uh, make my own stories. So and I guess I just fell in love with, with making movies and did it throughout my, my youth. Uh, my first job, actually my very first job was at a video store. Um, and my second job was at a cable access center, which I found as a means, as a place where I could edit the, the movies that I was making. Um, and honestly, that was more so than the college I had later. Um, that was the sort of the best training for the, the job I have now, um, which uh, for the last five years, I've been the only on-staff video producer for the College of Liberal Arts mm -hmm. at the University of Minnesota. And similarly to the cable access situation, what I'm essentially doing is helping people tell their story. My name is Xiaolu Wang, and I am Liberal Arts. Um, so for a while, I was an English major. I remember having this class where I, I kind of learned that I, in order to be successful in that major, I had to learn what my professors wanted. So I, I basically asked myself, what wouldn't I mind doing every day for money? <laughs> and I came up with this uh, guiding principle in my own mind. As long as it wasn't uh, working on news or filming weddings or porn, I would like to make, you know, I, working in video would be uh, an agreeable career path. <laughs> so. So I essentially uh, switched my major to, I think, what was called electronic media production and just kind of finished as quickly as I could so that I would have a piece of paper that would, uh, you know, put my resume, meaning a diploma, to put my resume in a different mm -hmm. pile. Mm -hmm. And it did. That, that diploma made a huge difference in applying for the jobs that I couldn't previously get. Mm -hmm. so the, like, the top boss boss guy said, well, I just, I want you to do this one project. It was a profile of, uh, like, some sort of women's science club organization. And I, I was put in charge of doing that project, working with basically the student leader um, of that group to make a kind of promotional video, I guess, for their organization. This thing I was fighting, this idea of having to be the guy that helmed the project, the video producer, like, the one in charge, that I didn't want to do, that they, that other people saw my skills in that regard, uh, is now what I do every day. And what I learned to be a strength because they told me it was, even though I didn't want it to be. <laughs> but I, I don't know that I could have come to that on my own. Like it had to be sort of shown to me. Video is a, it's a, in growing demand these days in terms of internet content and stuff. Um, you know, it used to be that the internet was essentially, you know, a navigable brochure or something online. And now more and more media rich content is, is the norm. So there's a lot of opportunity. Nowadays with, uh, you just need a, basically a digital editing platform <laughs> uh, and a camera and maybe a good microphone and, and you could, uh, could be your own business and basically choose the projects that could take you anywhere you'd like to, to go, really. The mobility of it all, it's very easy to educate yourself, the internet, learn new tools. Um, I think the, the advice that I, I would give someone would be to see if you can hone in on the specific thing that you know you'd like to do. Like there's uh, many means of, or many different ways in which that you can engage in that field. And then, and then basically you can just kind of ask for directions, you know? The, People are pretty accessible these days. You might be able to sit down with somebody who made one of those Viceland movies mm -hmm. and have them tell you, you know, how they got to where they are. Yeah. So uh, I think it's important to just ask sometimes mm -hmm. for, for, for direction.